Hey YouTube, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, prepping when you're broke. <laughs> um, I got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight jars. Let's see, 10, 12, 14, 15 jars. Um, and these are not pints out of that one pumpkin and also you know a lot of preppers we talk about stocking up alcohol I pulled off all kinds of berry wine and i um, fixing to make some apple wine with some old sour apples um, get that started I have just about run out of mason jars um, and I really am not trying to go spend the money to get some more um, but with the wine and there's more pumpkins to be canned here in the near future what I did was I posted out on Facebook uh, telling any of my friends you know because a lot of people they'll can one year they'll pick up some cans and then they don't like it and so they don't do it they're living in the city it's just not their thing so I posted out there you know hey has anybody got any canning jars that they'd like to trade um, I can trade just some strawberry wine or some eggs or you know whatever and, and so I just wanted to remind you that um, if you're prepping on a budget and you know right now a lot of us are already starting to use our preps because the economy has already turned despite the lying and the uh, <laughs> the numbers that they have fixed especially on the unemployment rate which we all know is a crock of shit you know, use the preps you've got to go in and start bartering and trading, and that's what you put them there for. Um, you know, I, I'm happy all the time to trade things like a can or two of my home canned green beans or pickles or whatever, and my friends all know they just return the jar to me. And in the meantime, they also know, get those new jars uh, to me, and I'll, I'll trade you some eggs or, or whatever I've got. So I just, uh, I guess I just wanted to point out that you can use your preps to get more preps um, as you need to switch around, rotate, do whatever it is. And doing this, I spent about six dollars, and you know, I, I the yeast that I used this summer on my uh, wine <laughs> is just your regular, regular bread yeast. I'm not really sure that there's that much of a difference. Um, between all those different yeasts. I could be wrong, but I know that I make my wine every year off of blackberries and strawberries, and I use regular yeast, and it always turns out the same, and it's always good, and people always want some, and that's where you're at. So, I spent $6 to buy a pumpkin. I've got an ungodly amount of pumpkins, pumpkin can, canned pumpkin. <laughs> And uh, I have my eggs, and my eggs come daily, and I'm trading them. I'm using them to get more things that I need. So I just wanted to remind remind you of that because a lot of times it's real easy for us to get discouraged um, and depressed, and especially whenever we spend our last dime to get a a few preps, and then we have to use them because we don't have any money left to get regular things. And I I have been using my preps really all along um, my food stock is it's my grocery store right there and I just keep rotating rotating that way I also I don't get outdated uh, you know I don't hit expiration dates and things like that so it's just like with the meat uh, you guys might remember seeing me canning the meat you know there's a few spaces empty now I'm gonna have to reline up the jars but the summer yeah, I bought an $18 pork loin, and I got about $50 worth of uh, canned pork out of it. And I did the beef and made meatloaf and uh, pork and beans and canned chicken and everything else. And so I'm eating that now so that I don't spend the money to buy more chicken and stuff. And that way I can afford to get some other preps that I need. And we just have to all be a little creative. Um, and I just wanted to remind you, don't get too discouraged. I'm, I'm getting really proud here on my can selection, if you can't tell. Obviously, you know, I still have my store-bought items and a few other spots, too. But uh, for the most part, 
And this right here I see is, is really my major prep because every time I put food in a can in one of these jars, I'm saving the jar as well, you know, if, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I go to the Goodwill store, I pick up a mason jar. Um, every time I open up something that I did buy from the store that uh, was in a glass jar, I always check to make sure, will a mason jar lid fit this? And if so, that booger's going into my can collection. So, I just wanted to, you know, stop and hopefully try to give a little bit of encouragement. Remind you, you can barter. And you can make your own alcohol, um... If you're in the country, obviously you can't do it if you're in an apartment. Well, you could, actually. Um, but you got to get the berries and stuff. At least I'm able to go and get the berries from outside in our yard. But I just wanted to reiterate to you that those preps are there for you to use to get through tough times. And if you're in a tough time and you're struggling to afford preps, trade them trade what you need for what you want you know a lot a lot of times we wind up oh geez I got entirely too many jars of corn or I've got entirely too many uh, Ziploc bags or whatever weird little thing it is that you know now you're overstocked on this because maybe you didn't do proper inventory count or you just got sidetracked or found a good sale you know what take some of those um, uh, things and trade them out with some friends for something you need me it's mason jars right now my life is about locating mason jars and if I have to trade some of my homemade wine or if I have to trade some of my homemade pickles or uh, heck even a bag of sugar versus going out and because these mason jars I don't know if you noticed how expensive they are nowadays but it is outrageous and you've got to have twenty dollars just to buy one pack of mason jars and I need more than one pack of mason jars so I just wanted to uh, address that with you and hopefully it made some sense and um, you know we're crashing right now I believe I think it's it's very well underway um, I'm watching the Middle East and everything but that, that's all for another video I, I just wanted to tell you what I'm doing I am using my preps right now to trade for the preps that I really need